A mother of 11 from the Gloria Vale community died. A bridge collapsed and a section of the road was washed away after wild weather hit the west coast yesterday. The woman was swept to her death when part of the stop bank on the Hopiri River collapsed last night. The main road between Christchurch and the west coast won't reopen until Monday after a washout last night. Westland Milk CEO Tony Brendish told me the damaged roads were proving a headache for farmers who are trying to get their milk out and it's a race against time. We do still have a group of farmers at Lake, around Lake Halpre who we can't access with our tankers to collect their milk. Um, now many of them will have storage and they can store their milk up to 72 hours. Uh, but at this stage, we still can't get to them because of the road closures. So if that happen, continues to happen and we're unable to collect their milk, then they will have permission um, to be able to dump that milk uh, because it won't be safe to collect it after that period of time. And what kind of quantities are we talking about, Tony? Look, it, it's hard for me to say, Lisa. It, it, it varies by farmer in terms of what they would have, So, but I don't have an exact number for you. And hopefully we won't have anything spilt because hopefully the roads will get open. But at this stage, we've just, we, we believe we're going to be able to get down to South Westland where we had roughly 60 farms um, that were not able to be collected. But we believe we'll be able to get to those very soon this afternoon. But the Lake Halpre area is still closed to us. So in essence, this is a race against time for you guys? For those, particularly for those group of farmers around Lake Halpre. And in terms of logistics, what does this tack on to your travel times? Because as you were saying, Arthur's Pass is closed. They have mm. to take routes that Lewis, Lewis Pass. So mm -hmm. what does that mean in practical terms for you in, in terms of time? And have you managed to get as many drivers as, as you need? So it, it's not just an issue of time. It's literally, as you say, finding as many drivers as, as we can. And we've had such fantastic response from a number of the contractors who have made themselves available and got vehicles across to us in order to pick up product. So I think we've literally had a call out to you know every contractor in the South Island and we've had some fantastic response. Um, and we will have, um, over the weekend, we'll have at least 17 vehicles going through the Lewis Pass and hopefully a few more that will um, help get that product across to the East Coast. And, and the, the main reason for needing to do that is we've got to clear our warehouses in Hokitika so that we can keep processing the milk that we're picking out up and turn into new product. So how many days might you have to have these uh, special arrangements for? Again, I can't confirm because we don't know how long Arthur's Pass will be closed and how long it will take um, for the rail to be fixed. We're just waiting for a, a full debrief from Kiwi Rail on that. But hopefully, you know, not, not as long as it took, I think, you know, a couple of years ago when the rail was down for quite some time. And we, on the West Coast, this is something, unfortunately, that we get used to. We, you know, we have so much rain, which is a fantastic thing for the West Coast, but every now and then we have these events that make it very difficult for us. Um, and there's a, there's a resilience on the West Coast that exists and, and learns how to deal with this stuff, but hopefully it won't be for too many more days. How many farmers do you pick up from over there? So on, on the West Coast, we have about 80% of our milk supply. So we, we pick up, we roughly get about 66 million kilos of milk and about 80% of that comes from the West Coast. But it's split quite a long way from all the way from, from Taramia all the way down to Franz Joseph. So it's a long area to cover. So on a daily basis, how much are you picking up? Well, it, it depends on the time of the year, but at the moment we're picking up anywhere up to 4 million litres a day. So this is serious business for you if you can't get it out in time. It really is. It really is. You know, it, it, for us it couldn't have happened at a worse time because we are in our, our peak season, so very high volumes of milk normally coming through at this time. So, yeah, the timing's not great, but as I say, there's a, there's a resilience that, not only exists for our shareholders on the West Coast, but particularly our employees who have done an amazing job to keep the factory running all through this. We didn't have any stoppages on the plant during this process and, and managed to you know, work safely during some very difficult working conditions. Westland Milk CEO Tony Brendish there.